Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make my can koozie. Um, hold on, I'm trying to reach one. I should have grabbed it beforehand. Um, this is my can koozie that I'm going to teach you how to make today. I'm going to start with this base and end with this slip stitch up here. Sorry, I can't get it on, all on frame. Uh, but we are about to make that. I'll, I'll insert a picture for you to be able to see. Um, but before we start, we need to make sure we have... Today I'm using a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. We need a pair of scissors. We also need... Uh, are these called darning needles, tapestry needles, uh, but you'll just need one. I prefer the metal ones. Uh, you'll just need one of those. And then we'll need some yarn, and today I am going to be using Day Glow by Red Heart Super Saver. So let's, uh, let me clear off my table and we'll begin. Okay, to start, we need to do a magic circle. This is how I do mine. It's a lot harder to do through a viewfinder than I expected. Okay, you want to make sure you're straggler. going to be worked over. So you want to chain one and we're going to work eight single crochets into our magic circle. So one, two, three, sure all your knots and stuff or all of your stitches stay the same going the same way you don't want it to twist around but you want to pull that straggler oh it's not working what did I do wrong okay I figured out what I did wrong I did my magic circle wrong uh, like I said it was a lot harder to do through a viewfinder than I was expecting. So I'll have to practice that a little more. But I just pulled it back out, redid my magic circle, and got back to eight single crochets. Then you want to pull your straggler and it should cinch up like that. And you want it to be which way my camera is. Get it to focus. You want it to be as tight as you can get it. So, once you get it pulled tight in a circle, get my camera refocused. Make sure you're not holding on to your straggler. And I get reset up. But you want to slip stitch into that first make sure you go back to the eighth one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Okay, that is the eighth one right there. And you want a slip stitch. Okay. Chain one. Then you want to go back into that same stitch and put in two single crochets. And then in the next single crochet, put two more single crochets. And you should end up with 16 single crochets. Sorry, I have a cat here. How many of y'all have furry companions that like to help you with your yarn? Thank you, Velvet. Okay, and in the next one, two more single crochets. So in this round, you're going to put two single crochets in every single crochet. And I will meet you when I finish my 16 single crochets. Okay, I have counted all of mine. And we're going to count again, make sure I've got 16. You want to count the V's. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I have my 16. Alright. That is the end of round two. If my straggler will just let go. And we want to slip stitch into that first single crochet. This will be uh, round three, and in round three, we will end with twenty four stitches. So, chain one to start. Go right back into that same where it came out at. So that first one, we're going to put one single crochet. And the second cr single crochet, we're going to put two single crochets. Sorry guys, I'm trying to stay in frame, I promise. And the next one, put one single crochet, and then the next one, two single crochets. So you're going to continue to do one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way around until you get 24 stitches. Uh, and I will meet you back when I have 24 stitches. Okay, I have 24 stitches now. And we want to join in and slip stitch to that first single crochet of that round. Moving on to round four. We need to chain one. I want to see this round at the end will be 32 stitches. So this will be the last round we increase in. And I 
after this round we'll start making the sides of the can koozie. So, but this round goes, let's see, single crochet back in that first one. So, one. Second one gets one. And the third one gets two. And then we repeat the pattern. I had to pull out some more yarn. So we got one, one, two. That sound would have been velvet. That is my yarn, young lady. Thank you. So I'm going to finish my 32 uh, stitches off camera. So just remember it is one, one, two. One, one, two. All the way around. And I'll meet you back when I have my 32. Okay, I have my 32. So we want to slip stitch to that first single crochet. And if you can see we have a hole again, so you want to make sure you go and take that straggler, which is back here. Sorry, I'm blocking the light. And you want to pull that tight, as tight as you can get it. But try not to pop the string. I mean, if you can't get it completely tight, that's fine. It's just a can that's going in here. I'll pull this out a little bit. And we are going to go ahead and sew in this straggler. So we need to thread our needle. And we want to go the opposite direction that we already went. Because that weighs one. Skip that first stitch. And just work your way around. And that weighs two. And flip it back the other way. Just make sure not to go back the other way in the same way you came out. So you want to skip a few threads. And let's go ahead and cross that divide there. Make it tight. And you want to make sure you go at least three times back and forth. Because no matter what you do, you can never pull this fabric in three different directions. So now we can go ahead and get right up to the edge. And snip that yarn and get that out of our way. Okay. So this is where we are at so far, and that is about the size of a bottom of a can. Uh, the can does stretch this thing out a little bit, so it's a nice snug fit. So we are going to start with, we need to chain one, and we are going to do back loop single crochets all the way around. So do, to do a back loop single crochet, we go in through the back, we go around the post of that single crochet, pull up a loop, work it back through, and then go pull through two. So again, let's go through the back, around that 
post. Pull a loop through. Yarn over and pull through two. So we're going to do back post single crochets all the way around the 32 single crochets you did in the last round. Try to do this in focus and slow for you. Give me one second. in through the back, around that one post, draw up a loop, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. So I will meet you back when I have finished my twenty or 32 back loop, back post, single crochets. Okay, I've got one more to finish. Let's go in through the back. Come out around that loop. Oh yeah, come out around that, that post. Pull the loop through. Yarn over. Pull the loop through, loop through two. So that's my last one. And it gives you this nice little raised edge which will be the bottom of your can cozy. From this point forward, we're not doing back post double crochet or single crochets. And we are not slip sti stitching anymore. It is just going to be a single crochet in every single single crochet for I think 19 rounds. I will have to double check that, but let me check that real quick. Yes, I counted 19 rounds on my can koozies that I've been making. I don't have this pattern written down, this is just something I have in my head. I've just made enough of them that I know how many stitches I need and all that. I just don't really pay attention to how many rounds up I went. Because most of the time I would just measure it against my can. So if your stitches aren't too tight, it should be fine. 19. If you have really tight stitches, you might need to measure yours against a can like I did my first few times. So it should just be one single crochet per single crochet in the previous row. And I will meet you back when you have reached approximately 19 rows. Um, I've almost made it all the way around once. I will actually stay on to show you what it's like to make this can koozie. Pretty simple at this point. As you can tell right here, the yellow starts to go up. That is oops. The start of our next round. Velvet. That's my yarn. Please leave it alone. She she thinks that she owns all of my vlogs. And we will just single crochet right along. Keep going. So until y'all reach Row 19. And I reach no, row 19. 
Happy crocheting. And I will see you back at row 19. Alright guys, I've got I've done probably about seven rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm working on the seventh row now. And as you can see, it does start to take shape. I know when you first start building up the sides, it looks like it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But as long as you don't add any extra stitches, it shouldn't. It does kind of sort of flare out a little bit at the bottom. But cans typically do too, do as well. So I just wanted to show that to you. That it does eventually start to take shape. So I will see you when you reach row 19. Okay guys, I'm just finishing up my 19th round. And then I will show you how to finish off this project. Okay, I get finished. If you look down here at the bottom, see how it goes, kind of goes up right there? You want to follow that all the way to the top. And mine happens to be this first full stitch of pink. So you want to go into that stitch for you to be able to finish. And then you want to start slip stitching. Sorry, the bottom of my project keeps touching the bottom of my tripod here. So you want to slip stitch all the way around until you get back to where your first slip stitch is. So I will meet you back when I get done with my slip stitches. Okay, and I'm getting right back to my beginning slip stitch. I just got a few more slip stitches to do. Okay, and this one right here was my very first slip stitch. So you want to go through the center of that slip stitch and slip stitch into it. And I'll go ahead and go into the second one and slip stitch into that one as well. And you want to leave yourself a nice little tail. Cut your yarn, pull that through, and pull your that one last stitch tight. And you want to take your needle, thread your yarn. go, if you can see how it goes down there, you want to go down, pull your string to the back side. And you want to go on the inside of your work, go through a few stitches. You want to go through the thread, not just through the holes that the stitches create. Make sure not to pull it too tight. But you want to go back and forth three times. That'll be two. And that makes three. And you just make sure that it's all nice and snug. Good. 
cut your string. And then there you go. We have a can koozie. Give me one second. I will change angles. So you can see better. Hello. And then we have your can koozie. It's going to have one line a little bit higher than the other, but that's expected. So there you go. One can koozie. I don't have a can on me, but this is about the size of a can, as far as how wide the can is. It fits just nicely. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it helps me a lot. Um, and if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comment section below. And until I talk to y'all tomorrow, just remember, keep creating. Peace.